Welcome to another edition of MCAS Strategy. Today we will be doing the first video on biological sciences and we will cover tips on studying for the biological sciences section. This will be a relatively quick video because biological sciences is the most straightforward section to study for. It just requires a good time investment to go through the material and feel comfortable with the concepts. With the introduction of the computer-based test, there has been a shift towards having less organic chemistry on the biological sciences section. Currently, it takes up about one-third of the biological sciences section, and now sometimes some writers find even less than that. What has come to replace that uh, organic chemistry is more genetics problems and passages. So this is just information that will be useful for you when you are deciding how much time to allocate to the various, uh, various topics. So keep this in mind and invest your time accordingly. With the introduction of the CBT, a number of writers have noticed that there are more verbal reasoning type passages in the BS section. When I say that they are like verbal reasoning, they are passages where you read the passage and piece together almost everything you need from the passage and there is, le there is less outside knowledge that needs to be brought in, but the passages are on sciences and uh, biological sciences. So make sure you are comfortable with reading scientific writing and being able to put things together um, when you do read it. Pathways, for example, will often be introduced in a passage and you will need to piece together the entire pathway from what is written in the passage and then you will be asked questions about what happens when you affect this in the pathway or that in the pathway. Although it requires less outside knowledge and sometimes requires no outside scientific knowledge, you will need a uh, you will need some scientific knowledge to make some of the inferences that they hint at and that sometimes is difficult for writers to read the science passage and read in between the lines and see what the concept is that is being hinted at. So to prepare for these passages, just make sure your science basics are sound, like your science foundations such as receptors and signal transduction for example. If you need help on these type of passages or you want to improve your skills with reading scientific literature, to go ahead and pick up some scientific papers on topics that you are unfamiliar with and see if after reading them you can understand what is being done and the background behind the paper and understand the paper thoroughly. My next tip is to focus on the important concepts and don't sweat the details too much. In most prep books, you will find a mountain of material, and it often can be overwhelming when you flip through the hundreds of pages of material. And of course, biological sciences happens to be particularly heavy on the number of details, but I advise you not to, not to sweat it, and tr you don't need to memorize all of the details since most of it will not be tested and it's just there to flesh out your knowledge. If you do understand the details, it will help to increase your understanding of the concept, but memorizing every little detail will, is very time consuming and there are so many details that it would be a very great challenge to learn all of it. So. Just make sure you understand the main concepts and understand how things function and instead of memorizing them, try to understand them and even though you forgot the specific definition, if it does show up on the MCAT uh, exam, you can try and work it out. So there are a number of important things that do need to, memorize, do need to be memorized, like hormones for example, but you should get a feeling of what topics are more important and require that extra memory work and what topics are less frequent on the MCAT exam. That way you can focus on the important sections more and do more memory work there and not sweat the details on the less important topics.
The MCAT is not a traditional science test or science exam because it tests understanding more than memorization of facts. It really tests your ability to think critically. That is why you won't see a lot of peer recall questions where you can just uh, look at the question and the answer pops out because it's just an information recall question. Most of the questions will require some application and some critical thinking. That is why understanding the concepts in biological sciences is more important than memorizing them because memorizing them won't allow you to apply and manipulate it, but understanding will allow you to work with it and alter it in your mind. Besides being less effective overall, memorization is a lot more time consuming and you don't have an, an, an unlimited amount of time to study for the MCAT. So always emphasize understanding. When you don't understand something, don't just go ahead and memorize the details and hope that's enough. Take the time to actually go to other sources and try understanding it properly instead of just glazing over it and memorizing it and hope, hoping that will be enough. Often, if you have a good understanding of the concepts, then you won't need to know the exact definition, but you can work things out on the exam through the passage information and the process of elimination. And if you study with a uh, goal of understanding all of the concepts instead of uh, memorizing them verbatim, then it will also make your study more efficient. My next piece of advice is to focus on your weaknesses. A common thing people do is to focus on their strengths because working on their weaknesses is difficult. I know for a long time I had to force myself to study physical sciences because I kept putting it off because I, I'm not as strong in that section and I was working on my other sections. But when I realized that I was just putting it off and putting myself in a worse position, I consciously forced myself to start working on the weaknesses I have. And even though it is difficult at times, you need to stay focused on improving your weaknesses. I suspect a lot of people fall into the trap of polishing their strengths because the MCAT causes a lot of anxiety and people want to hide in their strengths and relieve that anxiety by, you know, doing something that they're good at. But you need to avoid this and you need to, you know, bring up the sections that are weak for you. Being average in every topic is better than being great at some topics and really weak in others. So if you know you know a topic fairly well, then avoid going back to it because you will have a tendency to sneak back to it when, you're, when you run into difficulty with working your weaknesses. That's all for today's episode. Any suggestions, comments, or discussion is welcomed, and I will do my best to respond to all comments left below. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.